Hi everyone, the, this is your technical guy from ITRA Systems. Today, I'm gonna show you how to monitor your CCTV cameras in your PC or your laptop by using a CMS software. So good thing about the, one of the good thing about the CMS softwares are, you know, once, once you follow any CMS software, how to do the steps, how to add the use, how to add the DVRs, how to mon uh, check the recording. Once you learned any one of the CMS software, you can easily follow the same procedure to any of the CMS, pro most of the, not everything, most of the major, major CMS software, you can follow it. So today, I'll be using IVMS 4200 software. This is a CMS for Hike Vision, one of the good brand high vision cameras and DVR so we, today I'm going to show you how to do the steps in high VMS 4200 so this is a software okay this is a software we will be going through what is main menu or main view how to check the remote playback or recordings and how to add a device by device management this is a section uh, I'll go step by step now you check main view you cannot see you cannot see even a single camera so you cannot see this is a list of cameras you cannot see you didn't even see even a single camera so the thing is when you are going to use this such software initial thing the first step you need to add a DVR to your software you need to configure a DVR or the device to the software so there are different methods okay I'll be today I'll be showing you how to configure a DVR inside your network a DVR is inside your network and in your laptop or your PC is in the same network the second thing is how to configure a DVR outside your network. There are two where one is by using DNS and another one is by using cloud software. Okay, so this is first step is how to you know deal with the inside the DVR which is inside your network. If it is inside the network, for sure you will be allotting an IP address, an IP address to the DP DVR. So my IP address, my IP address right now is 192.168.1.50. So go to add device, give any name, demo, I'm giving demo inside. All right. And I'm putting my IP address of a DVR, 192.168.1.50. This is my IP address. For sure, the see each DVR, no different brands has different ports. My DVR High Vision, this is a default port for High Vision 8000. And go to users uh, username section. That this is username and password. Add the device. See, you can check the status, net status. This is connected through internet. Hard disk is fine, recording is fine, signal, everything is perfect. So this means to say that, uh, that completely this uh, DVR is successfully added. Now you go to main view. Here also you can see the device. Demo, this is, uh, this is what I gave the name. So you can check the cameras by just doing a, a drag and drop. See? Dragging and dropping here. Finished. So that's it about, you know, adding a DVR which is inside your network. You can also check the re remote playback, okay, of any of the camera by, okay, by selecting the camera. You need to select the camera and you can select the date over here. Okay, and let's see. Also, this is the time, but this is uh, nothing but 12 o'clock. 1, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. This is the time range. You can change it accordingly. So I can uh, by see.
so that's all okay the second thing is you know adding any dvm which is outside your network this is nothing but your company is in one uh, place and you can monitor your cameras by sitting inside your house or anywhere in the world usually see these are the two normal me method which uh, most of the companies are following one is by using dns account you, you must create a dns account inside your company where you connected the dvr okay the name will be you know name any name you can give dot dyn dns dot org okay and the second thing is by you know configuring it through cloud once you configure through cloud you will get a username and password so i'll go to this one dns account how to add a dns account in a cms software if you have a dns name dms dns name address all right same way click add new device so i'm giving it a name it as a demo outside all right so i cannot add the same camera which is because i'm sitting inside the same network so i have another DM dms demo dms account dot yn dns dot org okay this is same app port everything will be this is this is this is nothing but dvr username and this is dvr password click add that's all so now you can see the cameras here itself see i'm closing all the camera existing cameras okay inside the main view you can see, you see the second one demo outside so choose any camera i'm choosing these two cameras uh, you can make it bigger or bigger, whatever it is all right you can also the do the same procedure for you know remote access stop the existing playback and add the new uh, i'm putting this on demo outside add the new playback you know uh, camera from outside same way similar way you can check by you know moving the time range you can check all the things all right that is all about dns if you know the dns address you can do it very easily just you know same procedure you are replacing the ip address by dns name the other method you know each camera will be a most of the camera most of the major companies are dealing with cloud so uh, cloud software if you doesn't have a proper network inside your office or house you can use you can configure your camera by using a cloud account so i'll i'll these two creating and configuring the dns account and cloud how to configure it in cloud account everything i'll be you know giving you a training in my next videos this video i'll just show you how to add the things a cloud account once you configure the dvr inside the cloud you will get a username and password so within the same cms most of the time within the same cms you can see you know here the cloud name is ezvz you can see the uh, cloud login here itself or you have to download maybe you will get another application you know related to this cloud so only you need to put a login information i'll put my i have a i think this is the username and password let me check i think this is the one finished okay i did only this one i add new device here and i selected is at visit cloud and i put the username and password over here. now you can check main view this is outside see this also you can see it now i'm closing the previous one That's all.
and recording no need to give an another training for recording same manner you can drag and drop the camera and choose that rate you can see it so that's all for today thank you for watching my video you can subscribe our youtube channel by you know going to our you can visit us you know itrust youtube.com slash itrust systems.com and click us on subscribe so i'll be giving a training how to configure a dns account how to configure a cloud account in my next videos thank you for watching have a great day